In this video in our How to GAN series, application examples where eGAN technology and devices are improving automotive systems are presented. eGAN devices are AEC Q101 qualified and offer improved performance over the aging silicon MOSFET used in vehicles today, enabling higher efficiency and high reliability with power densities higher than were ever achievable before. We will look at three examples where GAN technology is driving changes in automotive systems. 48 volts for mild hybrid cars, DC to DC conversion for infotainment systems, and light detection and ranging or LIDAR used for autonomous navigation. First, mild hybrid cars. By 2025, one of every 10 vehicles sold worldwide is projected to be a 48 volt powered mild hybrid. 48 volt systems boost fuel efficiency, deliver four times the power without increasing engine size, and reduce carbon dioxide emissions without increasing system costs. These systems will require a 48 to 12 volt bi-directional converter with power ranging from one kilowatt to three and a half kilowatts. The design priorities for these systems are size and cost. For 48 volt bus systems, EGAN technology increases the efficiency, shrinks the size, and reduces system cost. Due to the fast switching speed, GAN based solutions can operate at 250 kilohertz per phase as opposed to 125 kilohertz per phase for traditional MOSFET solutions. Higher frequency allows a smaller inductor value, 2.2 microhenries versus 4.7 microhenries, and also a smaller inductor DC resistance, 0.7 milliohms versus 1.7 milliohms, that results in less losses and smaller size for the GAN based solution. The added efficiency from the GAN devices also enables a reduction in the number of required phases. As an example, in a 3 kilowatt 48 volt to 12 volt bidirectional DC to DC converter, the higher frequency and higher efficiency results in the reduction from a five phase MOSFET system to a four phase EGAN FET based system, reducing both size and cost. As seen here, the GAN based solution is 35% smaller. With one less phase and double the switching frequency, the EPC EGAN FET solution is also more efficient than the five phase MOSFET solution. This graph shows efficiency on the vertical axis versus load power on the horizontal axis. The EGAN FET solution is 0.7% more efficient at full load than the MOSFET solution. If you look at that in terms of power losses, that's 15% less power loss at full load. The EGAN solution is also 5% more efficient at 10% load. That's a 30% reduction in losses at 10% load. At full load, the reduced losses are 21 watts of power. The system cost is also reduced due to the ability of GAN to do the same job with only four phases versus the five phases required for the MOSFET solution. What are the performance characteristics that enable GAN to offer this type of system level improvement? Well, here we compare 80 volt AEC qualified FETs, in this case EPC EGAN FETs versus silicon 5x6 QFN MOSFET benchmarks. In this example, the EGAN FETs have 30% lower RDS on, four times lower gate charge or QG, five times lower gate to drain charge or QGD, zero QRR, are less than half the size, and yet are 10 times more thermally efficient in getting the heat from the device to the heat sink. EGAN technology offers improved performance, amazing reliability, and lower cost compared to the aging silicon power MOSFET used in today's vehicles. 
Next, we explore the application of DC to DC converters for infotainment systems. Worldwide shipments of in-vehicle infotainment systems are expected to exceed 183 million units by the year 2022. Modern infotainment systems contain many advanced features such as a touch screen capability, Bluetooth communications, digital and high definition TV, satellite radio, GPS navigation, advanced driver assistance systems, and even gaming systems, all wrapped up with very powerful Class D audio amplifiers. These systems put additional demand on the vehicle power systems. EGAN devices are very suitable for automotive DC to DC converters used in this application with input voltages from 12 volts to 24 volts because the point of load needs to switch at 2 megahertz to avoid interference with the AM band. In hard switching applications, like a buck converter, the very low gate to drain charge or QGD and switching losses of EGAN FETs result in considerable improvement in efficiency and thermal performance. Let's see how much. In this slide, you can see an example of the efficiency improvement achievable with EGAN devices versus silicon MOSFETs for 12 volt to 3.3 volt and 24 volt to 3.3 volt, as seen in typical infotainment applications. Efficiency is plotted on the left side vertical axis of each graph power loss on the right side vertical of each, and output current on the horizontal axis. At 12 volts to 3.3 volts using EGAN FETs instead of silicon MOSFETs, there is an almost 5% efficiency improvement and a savings of 2 watts, or 50% lower power losses. At 24 volts to 3.3 volts using EGAN FETs versus silicon MOSFETs, there's a nearly 7% efficiency improvement and a savings of 3.1 watts or 40% lower power losses. Additionally, the EGAN FET solution runs 10 degrees C cooler. LiDAR has been in use for decades in military, aerospace, robotics, and meteorological fields. In recent years, it's quickly become a key technology to enable autonomous driving. A contributing factor to this has been the advent of commercially available EGAN FETs and integrated circuits that enable the laser to be driven with high current pulses with extremely short pulse widths. The short pulse width leads to higher resolution and the higher pulse current allows the LiDAR system to see farther. These two characteristics, along with their extremely small size, make EGAN FETs ideal for LiDAR. There are a few key EGAN FET parameters that drive the feature benefits of the LiDAR sensor beyond what silicon can do and make LiDAR superior to radar for advanced driver assistance systems. First, GAN can handle very high peak currents, which increases the distance capability. Next, GAN has very low gate charge, extremely low gate resistance, and incredibly low inductances. All of these feed into the image resolution and frame speed of the LiDAR system. Lastly, GAN devices are provided in chip scale packaging to allow designers to place the GAN driver circuit very close to the laser, allowing for quick transitions which improves frame speed and resolution. The very perceptible difference between GAN based systems and silicon based systems can be seen here. EPC has a growing portfolio of EGAN FETs that are AEC Q101 qualified for use in automotive applications. These initial products will be followed by a constant stream of transistors and integrated circuits designed to enable autonomous driving and improve fuel economy and safety. EGAN technology is faster, smaller, more efficient, and more reliable than the aging silicon power MOSFET used in today's vehicles. In summary, EGAN technology is driving significant changes in a variety of automotive systems. GAN makes smaller, more efficient, and lower cost 48 to 12 volt bidirectional converters required in mild hybrid cars. GAN reduces power losses by 40 to 50 percent 
providing more efficient operation at 2 MHz above the AM band for converters used in infotainment and ADAS systems. Finally, GAN technology is the solution creating high-resolution, long-distance LiDAR systems for next-generation vehicles employing advanced driver assistance systems and autonomous navigation. For more detailed information about EGAN FETs and ICs and automotive applications, go to epc-co.com.